News for News you. Video shows moment Philadelphia officers enter house before standoff with gunmen. Six officers were shot when the suspect, identified by an attorney as Maurice Hill, opened fire. All of the officers have been released. Newly released surveillance video shows the moment three police officers were shot at as they tried to serve a warrant at a home in North Philadelphia, a situation which escalated into a nearly eight-hour standoff with the suspect and left six officers wounded. In a video taken from a neighbor's doorbell camera, three officers are seen walking into the home. Soon after they enter the residence what sounds like gunfire erupts. The scene quickly turns chaotic as a bystander watching from across the street scurries away and several other officers take cover. One of the officers in the home is seen in the video pushing open the front door and crawling down the steps to escape. Eric Garrity, who lives across the street, told NBC Philadelphia that he went outside to see what was going on but was told by officers to get back inside and seek shelter. Another neighbor told the outlet that the scene was like a war. The guns, the fire, the noise, it was like bombs going off simultaneously at a time where people are having dinner, the resident said. Police were at the home in a residential area of the Nice Town neighborhood on Wednesday afternoon to serve a narcotics warrant when the suspect, identified by an attorney as Maurice Hill, opened fire, authorities said. Two officers who had entered the home were trapped upstairs for hours before they were safely freed along with three others who were in police custody, Philadelphia Police Commissioner Richard Ross Jr. said Wednesday night. The standoff ended early Thursday when the suspect surrendered after police used tear gas. He was then taken into custody. Ross said at a news conference on Thursday that Hill was armed with an AR-15 rifle and had a handgun in his pocket when he was arrested. Six officers were shot during the standoff and taken to area hospitals with non-life-threatening injuries. By late Wednesday night, they had all been released. Another officer responding to the scene was injured in a crash, police said. Hill, 36, has not yet been formally charged but could face charges including attempted murder aggravated assault, conspiracy and serious firearm charges, Philadelphia District Attorney Larry Krasner said at a news conference Thursday afternoon. There will be a lot of charges, he said, adding that Hill may never exit jail. Wednesday's incident renewed calls for stricter gun control. During a news conference Wednesday night, Philadelphia Mayor Jim Kenney wanted others to do more to keep guns off the street. Our officers need help, he said. They need help with gun control. They need help with keeping these weapons out of these people's hands. He added, this government, both federal and state level, don't want to do anything about getting these guns off the street and getting them out of the hands of criminals, it's aggravating. It's saddening. It's something we need to do something about. Hill has been arrested multiple times and has a criminal record dating back to the early 2000s for both state and federal cases, Krasner said Thursday. The charges included burglary, escape, resisting arrest perjury, robbery and gun and weapon offenses. Krasner noted that not all of the charges led to convictions. I think it's clear that this man should not have been on streets in the sense that he obviously was a tremendous danger to the public and to law enforcement, he said, citing Hill's prior run-ins with police. President Donald Trump made similar comments in a tweet earlier Thursday. The Philadelphia shooter should never have been allowed to be on the streets. He had a long and very dangerous criminal record, he said in a tweet long sentence, must get much tougher on street crime. Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf announced in a statement that he will sign an executive order on Friday to help prevent gun violence by addressing community gun violence and mass shootings, among others. Correction, August 15, 2019, 9.20 p.m. ET, an earlier version of this article misstated the number of officers trapped in the house during the standoff. There were two officers and three people in police custody trapped in the house, not five officers. Overnight, a terrifying standoff playing out in this North Philadelphia neighborhood. Shots fired, shots fired at police. Police radio traffic frantic, an officer desperately calling for backup, pleading for everything you've got. That's still ringing off. Give me SWAT ASAP. Long gun ASAP. Hundreds of police, armored vehicles, and SWAT teams converging on this house, taking cover as the suspect barricaded inside a building, fired round after round. <laughs> At least six officers were shot and wounded, many of them hit while attempting to serve a warrant to the suspect, identified overnight by his lawyer as Maurice Hill. All are said to have non-life-threatening injuries. The shooter 
fired multiple rounds. Officers returned fire, many of whom who had to escape through windows and doors. Somehow, two officers got trapped inside, along with three other unidentified hostages. A SWAT team eventually rushing in to rescue them. It's nothing short of a miracle that we don't have multiple officers killed today. The firefight and the effort to free them stretched for hours. Hill's lawyer telling NBC News the suspect called him desperate for a way out. It did come to the point where it's like, listen, man, we're going to go in the house. If you're not here by a certain time, if he doesn't come out by a certain time, we're going in. And then, uh, you know, God only knows what will happen. Terrified residents watched with horror, especially worried about 80 children at a nearby daycare center. The kids and caretakers sheltering in place until they could be evacuated. Part of Temple University's campus also on lockdown. Over 100 shots, over rounds and rounds, gunpowder smelling, gun terrible, terrible. I'm afraid. Philadelphia's mayor appalled that anyone had the firepower to hold off police for so long. Our officers need help. They need help. They need help with gun control. They need help with keeping these weapons out of these people's hands. More than seven hours after the first shots rang out. Yo, thanks for watching on YouTube. Click below and subscribe.